Once again, it's time for Dollars and Cents with our friend Bruce Porter. And of course, this segment is brought to you by the Resource Center. Bruce, always good to see you. Good to be here. Okay, we're gonna talk about something that I never really thought I would have to go, rethink the concept of money. I thought it was just something you spend, something yeah. you save, that's about it. It's something most of us spend and we spend too much and um, we don't make enough, right? There is that. That's always the complaint. We wanna to talk today about healthy habits. When it comes to money, I think that's timely. I think that we could all be reminded of the things that we need to be doing better. True. Right? And I think number one, uh, we wanna pay ourselves. We wanna make sure that uh, on top of everything else that we have to pay for, that we're taking care of ourselves and the need of having additional money at some point in the future when uh, we have an unexpected sickness or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, when you say pay yourself first, a lot of people say, oh, I can't do that. But we're, we're talking, you vary that amount throughout life, do you not? Yeah, I think, I think you can. I think when you're paying yourself, that means when you're getting your paycheck and you come home with it, don't spend every dollar that you bring home. Mm -hmm. Put five or $10 back if that's all you can, but put it back first and then budget around, buy your groceries, buy your fuel, do that. But always develop that habit of putting money in savings. Habit. The amount does right. not matter because there will be times when you can put a larger amount of, away and then out of sight, out of mind, and you're gonna wake up and you're gonna have a larger little bucket of money to pull from you know, if you're sick or Establish if you're Establish the work. habit, make it a habit. You'll always do it. That's right, it's a healthy habit to have. Right. And then number two, uh, don't think of your savings as an expense. Uh, you're not an expense to yourself, right. you're an investment, right? Mm -hmm. You have to think that way. You have to get, develop the mindset that I'm investing in, in my ability to take a vacation because I worked hard, I worked overtime, I've saved up enough money to where I can buy that new refrigerator or a new washer and dryer, or I can go on a vacation, or I can take a few days off and I don't have a financial strain. Right. It's all because you have the habit of paying yourself and not treating it as an expense, it's an investment. Some people dread putting money aside. That's I right. Mean, they, they, and that's why you see time and time again, statistically, so many Americans don't have much money in the bank. They haven't saved. No, I mean, that's, it's amazing uh, how little people have in savings compared to what they owe just in credit cards. Yes. And I think that we have to try to not do the norm. I think we've got to buck the system a little bit and be different. And then number three, I think that we can look at uh, adaptability to adjust with market changes. I mean, you know, when, the, well, when the markets are recessionary, like we're experiencing, that might be the time to spend less and invest more. Maybe you raise your contribution to your 401k because your dollar cost averaging, you're buying more shares right. because the values are, uh, are down. Now, does that mean you put less in savings? Possibly, but if you've done a good habit of putting money away, you can make adjustments to capitalize on the current environment that we're in. I think that's just having an ongoing relationship and a conversation with your financial person. And I think it's always a good thing to bounce ideas off somebody that can maybe give you some different of ideas. Of course, you as a financial person, you have estate planning seminars regularly, and this all rolls into that. People want to know when the next one is, how to sign up, how to get more information, how do they do it? There's the QR code. You can call 882-1800. Be glad to let you know when they're coming up. The estate planning workshops are just a good starting point. Helps us all get acquainted, and then we can develop our relationship from there. Always good to see you. Good to see you. Bruce Porter at the Resource Center, bringing you dollars and cents.